So, can you make games without knowing coding? The answer is, yes, you can definitely make games without coding. In fact, some famous games like Choo Choo Charles, The First Tree Inside, and even the enemies in Hollow Knight were created without writing traditional code. Instead, they use visual scripting to bring their dreams to reality. Now, if you're not familiar with visual scripting, let me explain. It's basically a way to create game logic using visual elements instead of writing lines of code. For example, imagine you want a character to jump when the player presses the spacebar. In visual scripting, you'd connect a spacebar pressed node to a character jump node, creating a visual representation of that action. Let's take a look at what the developer of Choo Choo Charles says about visual scripting and coding. I've never used C++ in my life, and I, I want to make a note on this real quick because this is a misconception that I see way too much in the game industry. Like, unless you're making a AAA game or, or an advanced AA game, you can use Blueprint for everything. I think it's clear now that you don't need coding skills to make games. With other talents, you can still bring your game ideas to life. But which game engine is best for you? Unity or Unreal? Unreal Engine is incredibly powerful for visual scripting, and games like Choo Choo Charles were made entirely using its Blueprint system. If you're looking to create 3D games, Unreal Engine is a top choice. For 2D games like Hollow Knight, Unity is an excellent option. When it comes to Unity, it has two options, Bolt and Playmaker. Bolt comes with Unity, while Playmaker is a third-party asset available on the Unity Asset Store for $60. Many successful games have been made using Playmaker, such as the first tree, Inside, and even the enemies in Hollow Knight. In Playmaker, users don't need to know the internal workings of code. For example, you can simply use pre-made actions without worrying about concepts like time dot delta time or other concepts. This makes it very beginner-friendly and allows for quick game creation without deep programming knowledge. In contrast, Bolt exposes more coding concepts, which requires a bit more understanding of programming principles. So choose Bolt if you are planning to transition from visual scripting to coding, or choose Playmaker if you don't want to learn coding. So I hope this gives you a good overview of making games without coding. I'll see you in the next video.